the program uh, 2a to design a super class called staff with details as staff id name phone salary extend this class by writing three subclasses teaching technical and contract where in the teaching subclass you need to introduce uh, with additional details domain publications in the technical subclass you need to in include the additional detail skills in the contract subclass you need to include the additional detail period okay so write a java program to read and display at least three staff objects of all three categories as you can uh, just read out this problem definition it says that you need to uh, have the inheritance concept here so this program basically demonstrate the demonstrates the inheritance concept where you create a super class and the subclasses so the subclasses can have access to the super class members isn't it okay uh, so that is what we need to demonstrate here and here uh, the one example is for staff so for uh, it can be teaching staff technical staff or a contract type of staff the basic details such as uh, the id name phone salary remains so you know uh, same however for the technical staff uh, you know additional details skills for teaching staff additional details are domain publications like this okay therefore the first class that we need to create here is the super class that is staff next class that we need to create is the subclass teaching another one is teach technical another one is contract so total four classes plus one more class to include the main method so total how many classes five classes we need to create in this program okay so we shall we shall uh, look at this the first class that is that gets created is the class staff this is the super class okay where the four details are the four details are uh, you know common to all the subclasses that is staff id name phone salary next uh, we have a constructor to initialize the same we have a constructor to initialize these values so staff int staff id string name string phone long salary so whatever the uh, these parameters are assigned to these uh, you know uh, staff id name phone and salary right so this is constructor next we have one method called as display method because uh, you know these are the four uh, you know basic details about uh, each of these staff so we will have one method to display the same so public void display okay so this uh, method will display the four details four basic details of each of the staff so as you can see now uh, the subclasses should also have additional details they should uh, you know have the constructors they should also have the display methods correct so we shall look one by one so first one the class teaching class teaching so in order to extend the you know class members to access the class members of the super class right so how to incorporate uh, the inheritance in java is by using the extends keyword by using extends keyword okay so the class teaching extends staff so staff is the super class teaching is the subclass that extends the staff okay so now the class teaching can access can now access these private members and it can also access the display method okay now additionally this teaching class should uh, bear other two additional details that is domain and publications as per the problem definition so the domain uh, say uh, computer science domain mechanical domain or image within, within the computer science image processing cloud computing any any other any domains you can uh, uh, write here then private int publications so this is the number of publications so how many research papers the staff is uh, staff have published so that is why it is an integer okay so now as part of the constructor you can see that uh, you know even though we have only two details here but the constructor is receiving how many details six details four are the basic details 
two are the additional details pertaining to the teaching class. Since the teaching class has extended the properties of the super class, therefore, right, you can see that it calls the constructor of the super class. It should call the constructor of the super class by using this method that is super. Okay, by using super method, the subclass can call the constructor of the super class. Okay, so wherein it you know initializes these four basic details the four basic details because the super class is uh, initializing only the four basic details so that is what this class is also doing so this time by making use of the constructor of the super class so that is why you can see this method super next so other two details pertaining to the teaching class it is domain and publication so we are just initializing them next again in the display method so when we are about to display the details of a teaching staff then first we should display all his basic details followed by the details corresponding to the uh, teaching staff so the basic details can be displayed by calling the method of the super class because in the super class we have a display method that displays four basic details so that is why the display method in the teaching class first calls display method of the super class okay display method of the super class all right so you can see that you know the super keyword can be used here super keyword calls this method of the super class of teaching class so the for the teaching class the super class is staff therefore in the staff we have the display so you can see the naming similarity in the super class and subclass but still there are no naming conflicts in java okay so you can observe this is the beauty of java that just by making use of this keyword super right you can refer to the super class by making use of the super method you can refer to the constructor of the super class okay so this is the beauty of java all right so here also we have the same method called as display in the super class also we have the same method called as display but still they perform different tasks okay and uh, how do you specify which method by using the super dot i mean from the super class use the display method invoke the display method right suppose if at all you create if you are creating any objects any objects of staff then you just need to call the display for, uh, sorry if you create a, you know objects of teaching class you just create the objects of teaching class that calls display method then right but still there are no conflicts because display now pertains to the teaching class and if at all you want to refer to the super class uh, method then you can use the super okay and that is why there are no naming conflicts okay so in the teaching class we are uh, you know printing the additional details that is domain and publications so all these details are remaining a slash backslash t these are just for formatting purpose hmm? next so similarly we will write another two more classes that is the technical that extends again staff so in the technical uh, we should include the skills so that is what we have done skills then uh, the constructor takes four details the you know the first uh, five details the first four details are you know mm, you know initialized by the uh, constructor of the super class then skills is assigned to skills similarly what display we again once again are calling the display method of the super class and then we are printing the skills in this display method for technical class similarly the contract class extends the staff so the one uh, more field to be added is period so the period that is what we are doing so you can see okay so you can see uh, that uh, there is a one more keyword that is this okay you are we are using one more keyword this this keyword is used to refer to this variable okay okay the keyword this is used to refer to this variable so here this dot period means the variable period corresponding to 
द करंट क्लास करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द करंट क्लास सो इन दिस केस दिस इंडिकेट्स करंट क्लास विच इज नथिंग बट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इफ एट ऑल यू आर यूजिंग यू नो या द दिस हियर इफ एट ऑल यू आर यूजिंग दिस हियर वेर इन अदर क्लासेस सच एज पब्लिकेशन सी हियर एब्सोल्युटली देर आर नो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दिस डॉट डोमेन इज इक्वल टू डोमेन ओके so why this keyword is used to refer to this class okay i mean when we have the variables of the same name variables of the same name say for example here p is capital right so what i will make is p small okay p small and uh, in the argument list you can see that int period is called int period as the last argument hmm so now there is a conflict that the period and this period right so if you are just assigning like this see here if you are just assigning like this there is a conflict okay so the assigned value is never used assignment to itself it is saying assignment to itself correct so you can see when i have highlighted this uh, period it is referring referring to this argument okay therefore how to differentiate the period which you have declared as the private member of the contract class and how to uh, and uh, this period variable which you are receiving as the argument so that is by using this keyword okay this keyword so that the you know this i mean the period you can see when i have highlighted that so even this also got highlighted okay so even though you have the naming conflicts but there is no absolutely problem because we are using this keyword and this is one more beauty of the java program you can use uh, the you know uh, variables of uh, the same names but still there are no naming conflicts where additional uh, you know uh, facility is provided by java that is this keyword okay all right next uh, this cl contract class also has uh, one method called as a display where it first calls the super class a display method and then finally prints the period all right okay so here uh, since uh, this is p small we have made uh, you know this p small so that is what we p small okay next so now we will write the main class so main class is uh, uh, you know uh, very simple main class is very simple we can see the lab 2a hmm? so staff see uh, staff the super class we are creating array of objects is equal to new staff of 3 okay new staff of 3 so now what you can do is staff of 0 see now you can create the objects of contract the technical and teaching separately or alternatively you can create you know the objects of the super class itself but when you are initializing you can call the sub classes you can call the sub classes you can see that the staff array is the array of objects corresponding to the class staff but what you are doing as part of the initialization you are you know initializing to the teaching class so this is one more beauty of java okay so since teaching extends staff since teaching extends staff you can right uh, use uh, you know the object of the super class but instantiate you know the sub class but instantiate the sub class okay so can you ask me sir can we create the class, you know objects of teaching and we can we use yes of course it is possible where you can have teaching okay so t is equal to new teaching and you can have the initializations okay so this is also possible this is also possible so i will uh, so this is also possible all right so 
while taking the output uh, you can just uh, uh, re-verify this and uh, you can just observe the output okay so this is also possible next so similarly we have created the three uh, objects teaching technical and contract so we are providing some four additional de uh, no, basic details followed by the domain and number of publications here skills here period say th years so three years of service so like this next we are just printing the all those details since we have uh, the four objects so the for loop runs for four no uh, the, i mean the three objects the for loop runs for three times staff of i dot display so even though you are calling the display method of this object since this object has been instantiated using this subclass the display method of the subclass will be called the display method of the subclass will be called all right understood yeah so uh, now after taking the output for this you just comment these three lines and create three more objects like this for teaching technical contract and take the output and just observe the outputs okay right so now uh, we will uh, run this program yeah so when i run the program since uh, there is no interaction i mean there is no user input we have just statically initialized values so the first you can see uh, the teaching staff object so first one is narendra uh, object you can see that all those details are printed here hmm? next uh, second one is the uh, technical staff third one is the contract staff right so this is one output so another case where you need to create the individual objects for uh, for each of the subclasses and take the output so how i have demonstrated here in the comments similarly you have to uh, create the objects for separately for three of the subclasses okay and take the output so that these are the two cases of the output that you should take so that's about this program thank you